All right, welcome back to the Kayak 2.0. What I want to do is I want to flush this out on the inside. I don't want to look it all rough like that. And I don't want to spend time sanding it. So what I'm going to do is I'll cut me a little block to go in here. Then I'll find me something that's big enough to make a curve that suits me. Because I want to see how thick this is. I want to make sure I got that thickness right here. There'll be a little sanding involved, but not as much the other way as the other way. So I'll put this here to there and then go like this. And then I will cut that out. And again, you don't have to have a jigsaw you can use a bread knife you can use a razor blade uh, you can make it pretty much you can make it any way you want to make it don't have to have all these tools but it's nice to have tools oh it's not plugged in how about that There we go. I don't have to be exactly perfect, but it just makes it nicer. If it floats and catches fish, then it's just right. Alright, so I'm going to this to go from here to here. I'll mark, I'll mark my length off. Or I'm using my pen. Just make it a little bit tight. What I did on my last kayak is I built the deck up there and then I put that um, five gun bucket lid on top of it. And then I looked on the inside of it and I was like, oh, this is great, great dry storage. But I thought, damn, if I had done a little bit better job of that, I'd be a lot happier with it. And um, so I'll try to do a little bit better job of this one. The other kayak was just fine, just was not quite so polished. So let's glue this in. Stick that in there just like that. I always hit it kind of hard to kind of dimple it down and get it below my work. So let's put this in here and try to get a look and see where the, see how much smoother that's going to look in there? Now it's a little sanding here, but that's not a big deal. So we're going to need to put a glue here and then glue from here to here and then go all the way from here to here. Don't worry about filling in those spots because once you do this, Repeat this another course high of foam. And then you do the same thing again with one of these blocks and some of this. Next thing you know, when you get done it, um, it's gonna be a lot better looking. It'll look real good and you're gonna be real proud of it. And it's gonna look nice. Remember, wipe up any excess glue because, you know, you don't want to look messy in here. So we'll put that in here like that, in here like this, and we'll, we'll bend it. And then we'll stick there just right. Look at that. 
So I'll give you another view of how that's going to look from the other side. And I may even put something up here in the front because we don't, that little bit of space there is worthless. So I think I'll fill that in now that I look at it. So just kind of go with that and, and then do the same thing here again. And then since this is against here like that, you don't really need to put anything here, but we'll come wrong like this. And then like, if you do round this out and use it, you, you know, you, you could use it for a bait well. I don't really recommend it, but, um, you know, providing it's deep enough. Bait fish, you need to have like rounded edges because you got corners that'll beat yourself to death. So, um, be sure to round it out or if it's just going to be for storage and you don't care, you don't have to do this extra around in the corners and making it look nice and smooth in here. Just do your own thing and, and, uh, be happy with it. So, all right, thanks for hanging out with me on the Kayak 2.0. And we'll see you on the next segment. Appreciate you watching.